I'm going to be using the KitchenAid Spiralizer Attachment to make zoodles, which is kind of a slang term for turning zucchini into noodles. And this is exactly what I'll be doing. This particular attachment comes with five blades. This piece is the peeler, which they consider one of their blades. I won't be using it because I don't peel the zucchini. Plus, when I tried it, the zucchini diameter was just too small for the cutter to actually effectively reach the zucchini and cut off the outer skin. But here we have five blades. Two of them can be used for spiralizing. These two. I prefer this one. It makes the zoodles a little bit thicker. And this is the spindle, which is where you put the zucchini at one end and attach it to I'm just going to call it the drive shaft so let's go ahead and set it up on the mixer now my particular KitchenAid mixer is the lift bowl and not the tilt head so you want to make sure that the spiralizer kit will fit your mixer. To install mine, I lift this cap and I unscrew the set screw. Okay, on the drive shaft you can see a dimple and this protrusion. Well, the dimple is what the set screw screws into. And right in front of the set screw is a depression. That dimple goes into here. So it does not install like this. And installs like this. Make sure it's all the way in and then tighten the set screw. And move this far forward. To set it up, if you're going to use the peeler, you would install the peeler first and then you install the cutting blade. This part of the blade, of course, will be facing the zucchini. But the way KitchenAid designed it, you won't be able to put it in backwards. This part right here is important because when we put the zucchini on, we want this piece to be as near the center of the zucchini as we can. And the spindle has an opening that we'll do a single twist on. So the zucchini will go from here to here. When we purchase zucchini, what we like to purchase is as long as we can and as big as a diameter we can and as straight as we can. Well, this particular piece meets one of those criteria. It's fairly straight, but the only thing the grocery stores had this week was shorter than we like and a much smaller diameter than we like. And I've already washed these, so the next thing I'll just cut off the ends and then we'll install it. All right, usually what I need to do is because the zucchini would be much longer, I would end up cutting in half and then spiralize half at a time. But because these are shorter, I can do the entire piece. Take a spindle and insert it in. as parallel to the center of the zucchini as you can. It doesn't matter if some of the sprungs have a gap and the others do not. Now you can see the zucchini is pointing down so we need to attach the zucchini to this end. The way I do is I just lift it up Pull the lever, push this forward until this is as close as 
as we can get to the center. Alright, so I've got a bowl underneath the attachment to catch the zoodles. They'll be coming out here. So at this point, I'll just turn the mixer on to its lowest setting. The mix will start turning the shaft. And because the shaft is turning, it's going to pull the cutter toward it. So there's no hand cranking of this. The motor does it for you. And the machine will not cut itself off. What you need to do is just watch it. And when the cutter is past the gears, the cutter's not going to go any further forward. So this is where it's going to stop. So I just turn the mixer off. The rest of the noodles can come off. And you release the cutter. Pull it forward. Remove remaining zucchini from the spindle. And what I do is I'll keep this part and I'll just refrigerate it and use it as a side vegetable in a future dish. So at this point, I'm going to do some more. Okay, this is the last one. Again, I want the spindle as parallel to the center of the zucchini as I can. Again, it doesn't matter to me if the spikes are all the way into the zucchini. If they're not, I'm more concerned with the spindle shaft being in line with the zucchini. I don't need to do it on this one. You probably see me kind of hold as it trying to hold things in place. I have to do that. And what I do is I get, again I get the zucchini is in line with this center as I can. Push as far forward as I can. And if I have to hold it, I hold it by pushing on the cutter. 
I don't try and hold the zucchini because it's turning toward the actual blades. And I don't hold it this way because then my fingers are near the blades. It's on the back side of the cutter only. Okay, I finished. There's really only two parts that need cleaning or washing, and that's the cutter and the spindle. The main drop, what I call the dryer shaft, didn't really get any food against it, so I can put that away. To remove it, it's the reverse. Undo the set screw, pull it straight out and lower the cap. So this is how much zucchini noodles I made. We will cook them in the microwave, generally depending on how much you have. It could take somewhere between five and ten minutes. And it also depends on the strength of your microwave. So I hope this information has been useful to you, and thank you for watching.